Scratch is typically known as a beginner-friendly platform perfect for teaching kids the basics of programming and game design. It's associated with colorful sprites and simple games, but today, I want to challenge the very nature of Scratch by attempting something it is never used for. Creating a horror game. I'm challenging my friend Doorbell to see who can create the scariest Scratch game in one hour to see how far we can twist this innocent platform into a medium for terror and dread. This is going to be a huge mistake. Enjoy the video and consider subscribing if you like it. It's time to call Doorbell and get this competition started. I'm a little scared because Doorbell is an expert in Scratch. He's been using Scratch since he was seven years old. And I've used Scratch like three times, I think. Doorbell, are you ready to push the limits of Scratch? Yeah, only if you are ready to embarrass yourself and lose. Okay, well, we'll see about that. Just literally look at the homepage of Scratch. Like all of these games look just so cute and so colorful. I cannot wait to absolutely destroy it. Bro, I think you need therapy. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna set a timer for one hour, and the scariest game will win, which will probably be mine, but... Whatever you say. As soon as I press this button, the challenge will officially begin. Three, two, one... Go, 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 go! Goodbye, doorbell. See ya. Good luck. I hope you win. Just kidding. I hope he absolutely loses, and... We already know that's what's gonna happen, guys. Welcome to the Scratch winning pov what a loser i'm beating him bro all right so so horror games are typically known for their immersive environments and high-end graphics things that don't play very well to scratch's capabilities but there's one horror game that i think does a very good job of being absolutely terrifying with very little this game absolutely traumatized me as a child but now it is time to use it to my advantage to win this competition. The original scary maze game. I'm thinking a top-down perspective with a flashlight of sorts. You have to slay the monsters that are constantly coming towards you and you can only see what is within the range of your flashlight. It's been a while since I've played this and I think the last time I played this I started crying so I'm a little bit scared. Um, guide the blue point through the maze but don't touch the walls. Turn up your sound, if it says so. <laughs> so the way Scary Maze Game works is that this blue square follows your cursor and you wanna reach the end of the maze without touching the blue walls. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go to the end here. Don't touch the walls. You know, I'm kind of a pro at this. Ah! That's so scary. That's so, that's, that's so. So as you can see, you can make a very scary game without fancy graphics. Let's just get started. I'm gonna make a new Scratch project. And right away, we are greeted with a cute, colorful cat that we are going to absolutely destroy. I'm gonna delete this, goodbye cat, and maybe make a circle. Give it an outline of Something like that. There we go. So I want to try and recreate Scary Maze Game to avenge my childhood self by traumatizing even more children. All right, so the art for this game takes a lot of skill. What I'm going to do is get a square and make it blue. We want to make our square follow the mouse cursor, which is super easy. Okay, so when the game starts in a forever loop, we set the X position of the square to mouse X and the Y position of the square to mouse Y. So now when I run the project, the square follows the mouse cursor, just like in Scary Maze Game that I'm still, <laughs> I'm still recovering from. Yeah, yeah, we need, we need arc tangent. The way this works is um, the tangent of the triangle at this angle made from the player is x over y so and we tangent of theta pass it into the arc y. tangent function and we need which theta gives us so theta. We, if you don't know this or don't understand sucks to be you all right so now that we have a square that follows our mouse cursor i'm going to create obstacles that you have to avoid all right so i'm gonna make a red square if 
the red square touches the blue square, we can reset the game. And now you start up here, and then when you touch a red square, the game resets. And now that we have the obstacle object, we can use it to build the map inside of the costume editor. So I'm gonna go to my red square costume, and in here we can build a giant maze. So I'm going to make a first level that's just like, I'll make a borders. The first level will be pretty simple. Let's say you have to wrap around like this. I'll make like I'll make it loop in like a little whirlpool. Now we should make like a really spooky backdrop. Ooh, spooky. And now let's test out our brand new map. So you start here. You have to be very careful. Go around the corner. Around the other corner. This is actually difficult. What the heck? It's possible. It's just scary. Okay. Go around here. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, okay, this, this part down here might be impossible. I may have made a mistake right here. That should do the trick. All right, back up and through the whirlpool. This part's tough. This part's tough. Okay. Down, 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 down. Around the, this is a very freaking tight gap. Oh my gosh. Then go up. The final stretch around and into this loop. And there we go. Our first map is complete. Obviously now we need a way to progress between levels. So I'm going to create a sprite that when clicked takes you to the next level. And if you haven't already guessed, it's going to be another square. All right, and then in our map, I will add another costume. So this one will be level one, and this will be level two. I'm gonna use what I made for level one as our level two, because the first level of this game has no right being that hard. I'm gonna make a very easy, nice and simple level one. Let's say when I receive win, I wanna go to the next costume. Now, when you beat the first level, the second level is loaded. We are absolute geniuses. So all the game logic is sorted. I think it's time to build out some levels in our last 20 minutes and then finally add the horror element to this game. Oh, oh, that totally works. Check that out. I want to make a level that just gets thinner and thinner. All right, let's test out our third level and see if it's even possible. You go around this corner, loop back, loop back. This is way, way too generous. I'm gonna make this way more painful. All right, let's see how close we can make these. This is brutal. Oh my gosh, this is actually brutal. Oh, and then what if we... Oh, this is cruel. This is cruel. What if we take this? I don't know if this is going to be possible. <laughs> this is our new level three. Let's test it out and see if we can even beat it. All right, go around the corner. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I made this way too difficult, 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 I made this way too difficult. Okay, okay. And now, why did I add this part? Okay. You can just be confident. If you're confident, it actually works. Okay, maybe that's not the case. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is, this is, this is evil! Whoever made this game is an evil, twisted psychopath. Careful, careful. All right, I'm just gonna assume that this level is beatable. I think it's time to move on. That should work. Okay, 19 minutes, crap. We need a jump scare, so. It's time to create our very own monster. I think we should take the Scratch Cat, the cute, colorful face of this entire platform and twist it into something terrifying. I'm gonna put my expert art skills to the test. Okay, I'm actually a little scared of of my creation right here. What we do is we make a new sprite, jump scare, and what I'm gonna do is yeah, first off, let's try Google Images. <laughs> let's do this. Let's let's use it for now. How much time do we have left? Seven minutes. Okay, okay. I think this is good enough for us. Six minutes, six minutes, six minutes. So we have the hidden costume and then the Jump Sakare. 
And then when you receive die, you switch the costume to jump scare. So we first hide it, then we show it once game over is triggered. There we go. But obviously what really makes a jump scare is the unnecessary audio that destroys your computer speakers and your childhood innocence. So I'm going to start a sound and I guess we have to record it ourselves, so. No! Okay. All right, now when you die, we should finally have... That's not fair, it wasn't supposed to... I don't wanna make a horror game anymore, guys. No! Why did that, why did that... No! Stop, 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 stop. It, it works, it works, guys. All right, that is time. Let's check in on Doorbell and see how his game came along. How did it go? I made a pretty bad game. I'm not sure about you. Well, my game is a masterpiece, but to each his own, to each his own. With that, it is time to play each other's games and vote on who created the scariest Scratch game. Up first, we have Scarier Maze Game. An absolute masterpiece. So there's three levels and you have to move your cursor to the end of the maze without touching the walls. All right, all right, all right. Here goes. This is terrifying. This part is unfair, this part's unfair. Oh God. Careful, careful. I got it. Slow, slow and steady, slow and steady. No unnecessary movements. This is not gonna go well. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, you have a bit more breathing room here, but then Dude, it, gets, what the it hell? gets a little tight. Careful, careful! I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. And there you go, right, right. the final level. Holy. Yeah, this one. <laughs> this one is bad, isn't it? Yeah, this one is definitely the worst, but good luck. Dodge! Oh, God. Man, you really have to do this to me right now? Down, 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 no, 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 wait, no, 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 you're scaring me, you're scaring me, you're scaring me! Oh. Ah. You know, alright. Up, 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 Never gonna up, beat this if there's constant narration in the background, so. Alright, alright, okay, and... You won! Wait, there's another level. No, I think it's broken. I, I think there's just not a windscreen. That is scarier maze game. I'd say it's probably one of the greatest horror games of all time. Now, it is time to check out the light. Warning, scary. You know it's scary when there's a warning for it. Use the cursor to look around using your light. Click to shoot your enemies as they approach you increasingly quickly. Is there a jump scare in this? I'm scared. We'll never know until you try. Only one way to find out, I guess. Okay. Oh, this is this is scary, actually. The ambience is actually really cool. Okay, okay. Bro, I'm cracked at this game. I'm literally- <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. What? Where? Where is this? What? What is this character? Please. Please explain. Awesome game, but I think I've seen enough. Now that we have played each other's games, it is time to determine who created the scariest scratch game. Spoilers, it is going to be me. Scariest scratch game. Okay, one vote for the light, but we can we can come back, guys. We can come back, guys. Oh, another vote for the light. Oh, okay, guys. This is this isn't funny anymore. Guys, scarier maze game had custom hand-drawn graphics. The goal, which was a yellow square, the player, which was a blue square. The maze, which was a purple rectangle. Yeah, I guess that's about it, but just waiting for the comeback. <laughs> we'll see about that. I know you guys are waiting for the last moment for an epic comeback, but you guys can cast in your votes now to, to put scarier maze game where it belongs. <laughs> guys, guys, there's not even... This is the second I come kind of a joke. Uh, okay. Well, we did it. You know what? This this is dumb. Horror games aren't even that scary. I don't I don't even 
I don't even get scared by them or anything. This is this is dumb. <laughs>